Hello, this is Dr. Karaki. The topic of this video is how to calculate the chart of a peptide chain. A peptide is made of amino acids bound together by a peptide bond, also called a mild bond. For example, a dipeptide is made of two amino acids bound together with an amide bond CO and H. In order to determine the net charge of peptide, first of all, we have to determine the ionizable groups. In any peptide chain, we have always on the right side of it a carboxyl terminal end and on the left side of it an amino terminal end. Then, you need to look at the amino acid composition of the peptide chain, mainly at the side chain R, to determine if it holds any ionizable groups. Now let's solve this exercise that aims to calculate the net charge of the peptide tyrosine, alanine, arginine, glycine at pH 5. So as I already said, we have to determine the ionizable groups. On the right side of the peptide chain, we have the carboxyl terminal end. On the left side, we have the amino terminal end. Now we have to look for the side chain R if it contains an ionizable group. Tyrosine have a hydroxyl function. Alanine doesn't contain an ionizable group. Arginine has a guanidine. And glycine doesn't contain an ionizable group except for its terminal carboxyl function. So in total, in this peptide chain, we have four ionizable groups. Now let's determine the ionization state of each functional group at pH 5, starting with the terminal NH2. On, uh, we draw an axis. On the middle of it, we put the pKa of the amino group, which is given. It's 8. On the left side of it, we have the protonated form, the ammonium. On the right side, we have the unprotonated form, NH2. 5 is lower than 8, so the amino group is NH3+. For the terminal COH, we draw an axis. On the middle of it, we put the pKa of the carboxyl group, which is 3. On the left side, we have the protonated form COH. On the right side, we have the unprotonated form carboxylate COO minus. 5 is higher than 3, so the carboxyl is COO minus. For tyrosine, we have the hydroxyl group. So we put the pKa of the hydroxyl group, which is 10. On the left side, we have the OH. On the right side, the unprotonated form O minus. 5 is lower than 10, so the hydroxyl is OH. For arginine, we have the guanidine function. We put the pKa of the guanidine on the axis, which is 12.5. On the left side, we have the protonated form, which is the guanidinium. On the right side, we have the unprotonated form. 5 is lower than 12.8. So at this pH, we have the positive charge group guanidinium. Now let's look at the structure of the peptide chain at pH 5. This is the structure we have the COO minus NH3 plus OH is not charged and we have the guanidine positively charged so the net charge of the peptide tyrosine alanine arginine glycine at pH 5 is equal to plus 1 now it's a quiz time please click on the link below the video now we have, have arrived to the end uh, I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, if you find it helpful, please like and subscribe.